Chanel Lane for Two Peas in a Bucket .com, and I am here with the June edition of 4x6 Photo Love. Since it's the sixth month of the year, that means we're going to be scrapping six 4x6 prints. And this month is a double page layout with all the photos in the same direction. So I've used six portrait photos. And this is the first example, which uses American Crafts Campy Trails collection. And then I'm going to walk you through a second version of this layout using uh, two papers from, the, from crepe paper and a cream colored cardstock background. So if you want to grab six 4x6 four six photos, you can follow along and create the layout with me. The design concept for this month's layout is that we're going to line up the photos all the way across except they're not in a line. They are offset by a block of pattern paper. So it's a very similar idea to what we did with three um, photos for the March class, but they were all in a line. And this time we're doubling that and then adding the offset blocks. So um, you can pick uh, to have all of these different patterns, or they can be all the same, but they are all going to be the same size. So you're going to cut um, six boxes to go uh, along with the photos and they'll be four inches wide because they'll be the same width as your photo and then however high you want them to be. I've used two and a half inch blocks. And on this layout I used all different patterns from the same collection and this time I'm going to use all the same pattern and um, they're all going to be cut from the same piece of paper. So they're two and a half by four inches. Then the other piece of paper you're going to need is this border that goes all the way along the bottom and all the way along the top. It's going to need to be cut in 12 inch strips and you'll need four of them obviously. But instead of having a set measurement for how wide this should be, look at the paper that you are cutting and let the pattern define it. So here I just cut the width of what this triangle pattern would be so that then when it lines up against the, um, against the layout, the pattern will flow from one side to the other. The one with the crepe paper has this kind of floral box to it, a bit abstract, and because it's a repeating pattern, it will line up. It'll line up across so that it appears to be a 24 inch strip. Um, obviously, like if you saw where it was upside down, it, it wouldn't line up if I didn't cut the pattern in the right repeat. So instead of giving you a set measurement for this, let your pattern uh, decide how wide the border strips will be. So you need four 12 inch border strips to go here and here, and six boxes, one for each photo. So I have all my basic pattern paper pieces cut, the six boxes and the four strips, and I've lined up my photos in the order that I want them to go, and then I'm just gonna start on one side and work across to get the photos and paper all in line. So I'm just going to start with my adhesive in the first photo and I'm going to use the side of the layout, the side of the background cardstock, to line it up. And then take the pattern paper block and line it up at the top. And that gives me everything I need to go all the way across to the last picture because this one I just line up with the top of the pattern paper. And I'm going to repeat that all the way across. With all those pieces in place, I can go ahead and add my border strips, and they are just going to go right along the edge. And that creates the basic outline of the layout, and then you have these six spots where we can add more or we can leave them plain. So we can embellish some, we can use some as journaling, 
And then we also have a space that we can add a title to the top or the bottom or dates and places and things like that. So I'll walk you through a few of the embellishments that I'm adding to this page. I wanted to start by adding a little bit more embellishment to the borders because I thought they were a little bit dark and plain and I wanted to bring out more of the red that's in the photos and appears a little bit in this pattern paper. So I started with some paper strips that are going to go on the bottom border and I've punched these from an October afternoon pattern paper with a Fisker's border punch that's called Upper Crest. I've just inked those edges and they're going to be attached right where the photos meet the gray border. Then I wanted to add something to the top that would coordinate, but I didn't want to just repeat the same pattern. Obviously you could repeat the same pattern. I just wanted to add something a little bit different. Um, and I had the, the red washi tape from Hambly. If you stick it straight to the pattern, it's a little bit transparent and I wanted to have the cream color of the layout come up a little bit more. So instead of attaching it straight to the layout, I've just put it on a strip of matching cream cardstock and then trimmed it to the width of the tape. So I just line it up with the edge. And run the tape along. Tuck the ends behind and then just trim along that edge so I have a nice uh, piece that works like a border sticker or a, a piece of cardstock. I'm going to add journaling to some of the boxes, but this pattern paper is a bit too busy to write on the top, so I've cut some strips of the cream cardstock, the same cardstock that I used behind the washi tape. And I'm just going to find a few places where I want them to go, and then trim them to be the right width. I like to have them overlap the photos just a little bit because that will uh, counteract the boxiness of this particular pattern. I'm adding the title to the bottom right hand corner of the full double page and I am mixing uh, two alphabets, this foam thickers alphabet and the gray chipboard also uh, thickers alphabet, so they're both by American Crafts. Um, and this uh, turquoise color picks up a little bit of the floral pattern that's in there. There are three very simple layered embellishments that I've added to this layout. The bottom layer comes from the EK Success Photo Label Punch, and then there are two layers of circles from the Nestabilities die, or you can use two different circle punches, and they're just the different pattern papers that I've used elsewhere on the layout, and then I added a, a adhesive pearl on top. I like working with layered embellishments because it means I can tuck things behind and add a little bit more dimension. So if I tuck this underneath the journaling strip, then the pinked circle is on top and you get the, the visual effect of the layer that way. One last little embellishment I've added to each of the uh, journaling spots is some baker's twine with little loop-de-loops and all I do is spray it with spray adhesive and then you can wrap it along itself and it will stay in place. So I'm just going to add a little bit more of that to the title. It will stick to your fingers as well, but it'll come off. And then it will just stick on the layout. So there's this month's page. 
And it, you have one month to join us by following the design principle. You can use any colors, any papers, any types of embellishment that you like, but you'll need six 4x6 four six photos and you'll need to follow this general idea and then upload your project to Two Peas in a Bucket for a chance to win this month's prize. Thanks for watching! Mm -hmm.